Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Bazaar. Last episode, we got the fourth gym badge. It was very, very easy. Ledian just, again, destroyed the gym leader. This Ledian is so powerful, man. We made our way to Despacito City. Nothing to really do here apart from play Russian Roulette. And we killed, lit literally killed two Pokemon. We shot our Bonsuite and Pavilion. So they're uh, no longer existing. <laughs> We're now going to head to Queen City and see what's going to happen next. Also, I want to fly back to um, where the third gym was because I was looking at the achievements. I, I like this achievement, whatever it is, like the little um, things you can get here. And we're missing this one. Help explosive and get beaten. We haven't done this yet, but we did like a lot of other things. Um, yeah, so route nine. We can't do some of this because we haven't got some stuff, but we've. I think we've done everything so far apart from this one, so... That's got to be back at the, um, the the department store. So let's go east and then we'll see what's going to happen because we saw Joshua talking to someone. I'm not even sure this is the right way, but I mean, it's got to be because Joshua's there. But what's up, bro? It's been a long time since I last saw you. Oh, I was waiting for you to make it here. Oh, it's Johnny. It's got really cool. Is that Bao Bab, eh? Bao Bab tells me you've been winning at battle after battle. Isn't that right? I mean, this is against me, then you're losing. But yeah, I'm giving it my all. Ha <laughs> ha. Very shiny hair. You'll lose that big head when you start facing against the strongest trainers. Hey, and you're looking for a pianist around here, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Although I met up with uh, Treaty. Folks, he's farther along the way. We went and uh, got some drinks. <laughs> By the way, Folksy's already here. Folksy, you're here. How'd you always manage to beat me to it, buddy? I'm just better, you know. I was uh, walking around town and I met up with Johnny and we were chatting for a while. I can't wait to get my next badge. I'll steamroll right through to another victory. Right, Voltsy? Right on, my, my Ledian will anyway, but um, yeah, Voltsy? From that look, I wouldn't say that Voltsy's adventure's been a walk in the park. That's right, before I forget. I saw your father. I know he's still in town, but I don't know where, he's it, where he is. He said he'd stop by to see you. Oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna go see Indiana, aren't you? Indiana? Indiana's the region's foremost archeologist and historian. Ooh, she's a real star. Sounds fun, definitely do it then. But she's quite an enigma, really. Well, I gotta head out now. We're looking for a pianist for the group in the city. But I guess I'll have to go to uh, Sugar Hill Town to find a decent one. So your dad wants to see uh, what you've messed up so far, <laughs> so stop by to see him, okay? Uh, I've messed up quite a bit. All right, guys, now for Indiana, right? Hey, Johnny, where's she hanging out at? Mm, you should find her at the museum. It's north of the main square. And why do you have to look for her? Can't she just stay still in the gym? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Her gym isn't here. It's in Straight City. She usually accepts several challenges around the region, but she usually works in the abandoned city. Well, good luck finding her. <laughs> well, friends, if you'll excuse me, it's my turn to return to the league. I have business to attend to. Next time I see you, I'm gonna kick your ass, Joshua. Well, wanna see about that? I'm definitely coming after you. Sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Just teleported away with the shiny head. <laughs> uh, don't worry. He does that all the time. <laughs> I'm heading for the museum. Damn, having to find the leader is such a drag, right? But we got Queen City to explore, so hopefully we can find some stuff. Um, if I can find the the breviary to fly, like I said, we'll go back to the department store, see if we can do that little like side quest. If it's there. But have you heard of Big Mud? He's a musician who is making waves throughout the region. If you see any yellow signs of a guy smoking, that's him. The biggest song is being played on all the route connections. It's a great song. Okay, I'll definitely check it out. Alright, yo! So I made a strange orb using the breath of my Pokemon. Don't know what it can be used for. If you want, I'll give it to you as a gift. Flame Orb, sweet! Am I gonna use it? Probably not, but still nice. So have you ever tried uh, mixing Miltank blue cheese with some tomato berry? Don't know, it doesn't sound very appetizing, right? But you'd be surprised. Goes great with pasta. A tip, just a touch of tomato berry. Just a little bit and you have it. Okay. I mean, blue cheese, eh. I, I love cheese in my pasta, absolutely, but blue cheese, no thanks. But I see a lot of hidden potential. Keep up the good work. I've seen it in the stars. Keep training and you'll be an amazing dancer. Ooh. Love to be a dancer, man. Do you know how horrible it is to be an electrician in the city? You must have Zapdos himself locked up in here to have all these lights on. You don't know how terrible it, it was to have set them all up. I mean, it might be like, uh, what was it? Uh, all the electrodes, like in um, Johto. <laughs> uh, I work as a guard at the museum some nights. Seeing all those fossils in the dark is pretty scary. Could you imagine if they started to move? I oh, like that. Oh, it was a movie I watched as a kid where like um, 
some guy works the, the night shift at a museum. Wait, League of Legends? My husband's schedule is totally messed up, eh, but it's not because he works at night. It's because he spends all day playing that game. What's it called? <laughs> League of Legends. I mean, I'm a, I'm a little bit addicted. Sometimes I should probably record some videos or do some editing and I'm just like, I'll, I'll play one game a league and then it turns out to be like six games a league. <laughs> Um, yeah, the guy works at a night museum and all the stuff starts coming to life. Uh, I know it's Ben still, I can't remember what the movie's called. Hey, what are you looking at? Not anything suspicious. Okay, I mean... A little bit suspicious. Ah, Queen City, the city of love. Have you come here to find love? Do you want to be the apostle to my mind? Uh, no or no? No. No, oh, I guess uh, what they were saying about this city isn't true after all. <laughs> Wait, can we go right? Is that a dead end? I'll, I'll check in a second, but hey, uh, you want, to, want me to tell you a secret? Sure. In the city museum behind a painting, there's a secret button. I won't tell you what it does. You can try that on your own. Okay, there's a secret button behind a painting. This city connects with Maiden Island through the sea. Sailors like me are engaged in trade between the two cities. Nice. Right, so... Oh, we can go right then. Oh, it's still part of this. It's a big city. But we'll explore this, the west side first. Have you heard of the ACP? It was formed after limits were placed on the scientific field years ago. As a result, the research of many scientists was slowed down. To be honest, I understand why they're angry. Right? If you're a scientist, you want to try and push the boundaries, but getting limits? Oh, the time without you is... still time. <laughs> My boyfriend is a well-known philosopher in these lands. Well, he's... pretty good. <laughs> uh, what's this? So it's like a wall. Okay, uh, so that takes us out. Uh, let's go around here. Go to this house. Uh, yo, Istanbul was Constantinople. Now Istanbul is Istanbul, but not Constantin Constantinople. It's been a long time. Um, now it's a Turkish delight under a moonlit night. Okay. Uh, hi. I discovered some berries that have uh, caffeine in them. Do you want to try them? Hey, get some caffeine fix. Ooh. So can we go north? This little bit here? No. So we want to go this way. Then we're going to explore the city plaza. So there's the Pokemon Center. Probably should just get healed up. Just gives me into a fight and then we lose and then there's a lot of people in here. And usually that's the person standing where that clown is. They give you something. Usually. That's like the, the spot where, you know, you get like a gift. Listen, dude. I'd like to make a trade. I'm looking for a Kecleon. For a dual blade. Oh, I think I know where Kecleons are. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw a Kecleon in the, the previous route. But if dual blade's got a new form. Wait. Man, I see how you look different today. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I know where Kecleons are. But if dual blade's got a new form, we'll definitely do it. And there's a uh, Breviary. So, let me see if I... Oh, do I have to talk to this? Yes. So let me go back here. And we'll see if we can get this side quest done. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Was this the Mart? Yeah, it says Mart on it. I remember speaking to Explosive in here, but I'm not sure if he went somewhere. I'm not sure this is what we gotta do, but it's worth a check just in case. Wait, the gym. And then... Where did Explosive go? I have to like, probably go look back and see what Explosive said and go follow him, because I know he went somewhere. Okay, so I looked around and I can't find him. He definitely ran off somewhere, so we need to find out where he went. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments and we'll go and you know find him later on. Let's ex finish, uh, finish exploring uh, Queen City and see if we get any free stuff. What, does, does it, doesn't it always have to be that way? Well, it doesn't matter. It's the biggest period. Okay, uh, can you help me find something? What is it? All the time I wasted with you. D but no buts. I found someone much better. Oof. Unlucky. Do you want to trim up a bit? Sure. Coming anything honestly? Just don't do anything crazy. <laughs> he faded, but he dropped something. Got attracted. Sweet. That's so brutal, man. Oh, that's a brutal way to get dumped. That's. I feel so bad for that dude. Uh, pearls are created by the. Uh, Nacre secreted by uh, the clam pearl, which is their saliva. Yes, it's spittle from clam pearl. Take one. I'm sure you can sell it for a good price. Ooh. Thank you very much. Anything in the trash? Nope. 
Uh, I came here all the way from Creamtown with a single Pokemon. Uh, I punched out all the wild Pokemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, let's go check out this house. Alright, uh, yo. Sometimes we see impossible facts and we deny them as if they were not real. But what if they were? But what if they were? My daughter says uh, she once saw a girl fall from the sky into the sea. Children have such an imagination. Okay, uh, yo. So once a little girl f fell from the sky shouting, My floaty! And fell into the water. But mum doesn't believe me. I think we will find that girl in a side quest later on or something? Or was that a reference to something? I have no idea. But this takes us to the north side, so I'm guessing there's a south and east. This is the center. Should we check the middle bit first at the church? Uh, okay, nothing here, but we'll go up top. Oh, it's a bell tower. I feel like we're gonna get in a lot of trouble for ringing the bell. Whoa, death. Who dares wake me from my slumber? Well, I'll be damned. Being deaf is not easy, you know? Nowadays, there's a lot of edgy fan games and I have to work three times as hard. And you just had to wake me up from my nap by ringing that little bell. Now you have to make it up to me somehow? Let me think. A battle, maybe? I don't know how you can help me. You see, it turns out there's a certain guy I've been chasing for years. And I'm unable to catch him. According to the contract, he should, be, should have died some time ago. But for some reason, I'm unable to reach him. Okay. Don't even know if he's dead or alive, but I'm just not able to climb that damn mountain. Used to be a great climber, but right now I'm just a bag of bones and I can't afford to climb mountains anymore. So you're going to take care of killing him for me. Understood? Okay, I'll explain more when we get there. Now follow me. Okay then. Mount Silver? Are we going to kill Red? <laughs> well, here we are. We're on Mount Silver. The entrance is over there. Okay, are we going to climb Mount Silver then, yeah? The person I want you to kill is on top of Mount Silver. His name is Red. He's rumored to be a legendary trainer. No matter what happens, I do not recommend that you confront him. To go up, you'll need this. Oh, climbing equipment. That means we can go back and do some other stuff as well. It's my old climbing gear. I don't use it anymore, so you can keep it. All right, my friend, I have some business to attend to. I'll see you out here when you finish with your mission. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, what is this game? Actually gonna go kill Red. Alright, there's nothing over there, so we have the repellent we can pop in a second. But I'm just gonna see if we can find some cool Pokemon around here first. Oh, no? What level are they? 39, it's not too bad. I was thinking maybe it might be like, what, 60? The Pokemon around here usually. Got an escape rope, nice. I'm just thinking, surely, surely we're not actually going to kill Red, right? I mean, I kind of hope we do, it'll be kind of funny, but... Uh, I need to try to remember which way we go. I haven't gone through Mount Silver in such a long time. I feel like this is the right way. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> Oh man, at least we got the climbing gig, so we can, um, once we finish our exploring of Queen City, we can go back to uh, Route 9, and there's that dude that's, I think, apparently supposed to be like crazy, on top of the mountain we can go speak to, there'll be sort of the one guy that was underground, he was like, yo, the guy on top of the mountain is like crazy or something, so we'll go and uh, do that, and then, is there anything else? I think there might be like one little area I can also check out, oh, I feel like these like, Dust balls are actually purposely coming into me. <laughs> oh, God, stop moving in my way. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, okay, now it's not fine. Let me run away. I'm just gonna fight you now. I didn't mean to faint attack, but it's all good. Yeah, I honestly can't remember the last time I went through Mount Silver. It, it must have been there. Very long time. I can't remember the last game I played where I actually did this, like battled red. Mm. No, I honestly, maybe someone can tell me, but I, I honestly can't remember the last time I did this. And if I go this way, can I get the item? What do we got? What do we got? Max potion. Not bad. 
If we have to fight red, then we're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> look, look, I, I, that purposely went left. 100%. They're trying to like fight me on purpose. Ooh, uh, yeah, so I'll climb up that bit. If there's any like cool regionals around here, we're definitely catching them and just... Oh, dude, let me run away. Let me run. There you go. Gonna see if I can pop this as well. Maybe that will stop some of the encounters. I don't think it will stop the, the dust balls, but... Stop the ones in the grass at least. Can I get across here? No. Right, uh, yeah, let's continue going this way. And I'm gonna take up this one. Oh, I was wrong. But at least I got an item, so I, I, I'll take that. Dawnstone Sook. Okay, this is surely the last little bit. Then we've got the escape rope. I'm hoping the escape rope takes me all the way back to the start because that would make life so much easier. Also, I should probably save it just in case we do have to fight red. It's going to be a hard fight. But maybe we can just like, push him off the cliff. Hey, red. <laughs> do you want to kick him in the ass? Yeah. Goodbye, red. <laughs> Death is dressed in red. <laughs> You have kicked Red. Red is now dead. <laughs> oh, unlucky. Wow, you're back. Bravo. I can no longer feel his soul hovering around here. You've saved me a lot of work now that this Red guy has disappeared. Let's see Let's see on my to-do list for reducing the amount of edgy fan games. Red was definitely a key piece. Truth be told, despite waking me up from my nap, you did a good job. I want to give you something in return. Here, take it. This is a very uh, common Pokemon in hell. <gasps> oh, we got the cool chat art. Nice. If you missed, I think it was last episode, this chat is like... Oh, oh no, I need to put my team. I didn't mean to say no, but we'll go back to the box anyway. It's a unique species in the underworld. This chat is the best companion a metal head can have. Well, it's time for me to send you back to the tower. Hope you don't get dizzy when you teleport. It happens to a lot of people. Oh, that was so sick. Let's go and double check as well. So we press F. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we can do this one now. Climb the mountain on Route 9. Yes, yeah, so we just need to find where this dude is. I think like it, I, I went went back and watched the video when I spoke to Explosive. Just said he wants to go take out like the Nanos or something, and I don't know where that is. Oh wait, let me go to the box. Go and get this chat up. I think I'm gonna replace the Chimeco. Because if this chat up is flying fire. Yeah, nice. Looks so badass. It's gonna be good, and I'm just gonna take this. Okay. And we'll put this on. Yeah, put it on Chalot, why not? Quick claw, give that to you. So, when is this uh, gold bag gonna evolve? I'm starting to think it's not happiness. There's no way it's like, it's not happy now, the Sue Bell running around for so long and everything. Hasn't even died, I, I don't even know. Anyway, I miss my old city, although I can't complain. Queen City is a great city to live in. We even have a, a beach. Ooh, beach, eh? A few years ago, we had to move to this city because there was an accident that devastated all of Street City. Portals started appearing all over the city and began to drag objects into them, and we all had to be evacuated. The situation there is still under investigation. Okay, that sounds like a place we definitely need to go check out. With the ACP obviously escaping in portals. But legend has it that the leader of Maiden Island single-handedly lifted a whale lord. His strength is said to be otherworldly. Of course, no one has ever heard him actually mention it. Uh, the other day I built a sand castle and it turned into a Pokemon, but my parents won't let me have it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a free sandy cast, why not? Not gonna use it though. Uh, yo. Best thing about the beach is getting full of sand. When I get home, I'll fill the sofa with, with sand and I'll be... Like having a beach at home. No, that's the worst thing about the beach, the sand, man. Ugh. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest lover of the beach. It's, it's okay, but... Yeah. Not my, like, go-to destination. They've had a beach full of snow. Like a snow beach. Yeah, that's, that's for me. Oh, uh, Volta, you're here. So I came to see the pianist at this bar. 
with a great uh, reputation, but nothing, apparently he has no idea how to play the piano. People just come to play a poker brisca with him. Why would you put in a pianist just to play poker brisca? Well, no point in getting mad. They say that a very good pianist is visiting Sugar Hill Town. So, I'm on my way. Okay. Sugar Hill Town, that's when we next do the side quest there, but... You're the pianist. Oh, hello, you call me playing the piano. I guess you're here for some poker brisca, aren't you? People say I'm pretty good at this. Do you want a match? Uh... I have one match. Alright, ooh, Crooked Pin's pretty good. Uh, all right, I'm going first. I am. I'm actually gonna. Oh, should I just like start like this? Cause I doubt you'll be able to take me out. I don't know if I should waste this early though. Uh, should we just like stop? That that's pretty. That's pretty solid. Okay, oh. Uh. Yikes. Okay, um. Gonna go nose pass. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna do this. Get those. Oh, you got a Zorog? Nice. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna win this. I win. Hey! <laughs> that was lucky. Unbelievable. It's been a long time since anyone had beaten me. I'm gonna give you this as a token that you defeated me. Ooh, a swagger. Nice. I think I got very lucky there. Very lucky. So the coffee here suits Pokemon very well and allows them to recover some HP and cure status problems. Hey! They said that the pianist is very good at playing poker brisket, but very bad at the piano. <laughs> ah, hot coffee feels so good. I could drink 14 cups of coffee in a row. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. All right, what's the uh, the item for sale here? Dragon scale again? Hmm. Wait. What? Did that say that the dragon scale evolves an onyx into steelix? No! Oh, I wanted to read it. Oh, dude, I didn't get it because I need to double check. So you need to get one shot at like interacting with the billboard. Okay. Got to remember that for next time. Oh, that sucks. But if you want a dragon scale, then get that Steelix. There is uh, no path. The path is made by walking. Sure. Uh, hi. Gonna give you uh, something that you'll freak out about now, but won't use later. Um, not freaking out about it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, hi. I think there's an invisible man next to me. Invisible man seeks a transparent woman to do the unseen. Ah, oh, dude. Right. Uh... Yo. Oh, the TV is really cool. It's really cool, the TV. Look, look at the TV. Haha, -ha, the TV, the TV, TV. How cool is the TV? It's crazy. It's broken. <laughs> okay. Oh, this game is just so dumb. Love it. Oh, we still have the north side to, of town to explore as well. Uh, so this is going to be a long episode of exploring. We've been investigating the ACP for a long time, but we still don't know where its main base is located. At this rate, we'll have to search the moon. Kind of cool to search the moon. Uh, have you ever heard of the Ice Puzzle fan club? I, I saw it on the map. They say their president has disappeared. Some say that he was capable of handling Meg Revolution. Ooh, okay. Wouldn't mind me some Meg Revolution. Because I, I like Ice Puzzles. I suck at Ice Puzzles. I'm great at a load of other puzzles, but Ice Puzzles are like my, my kryptonite. And... I thought they're probably gonna have like a big eye. Oh, was that um the dude we teamed up with like last episode or the episode before? Wish there was uh, a donut store nearby, like they do in the movies. Be the happiest man in the world. We're investigating the case of a thief named Cho Lizo. Apparently, he is from a faraway region in the east. Okay. Um, appears that Mr. Paul Atashon had dealings with the ACP. He's being questioned right now. Oh man, I can see it. Yo, it seems that the ACP is becoming more mobilized lately. We'd be more careful. Who knows when they'll act? I feel like these police officers shouldn't be uh, telling me this stuff, you know? X Defense 2. Anything in the trash? Nope. So we're getting reports of some strange activity near the museum. Oh, that's where we're going soon. Ah, Voltsy, it's you. I was just doing some paperwork. I wasn't watching videos of kittens at all. <laughs> Do you like my office? Uh, it's a bit 
dusty. <laughs> it's the coolest in the whole precinct. I even have an oven in here. Uh, okay. <laughs> right, um, is this the south side explore then or is it like another house we can check out? Um, I think, yeah, that's it. So let's go north. Then we'll go to the museum and see what's going on. Well, before the museum, obviously, go check out the rest of the place. Okay. 43! That number has to mean something. I don't know. The numbers, Mason! What do they mean? Wait, foot isn't... Oh, no, wait. I feel like, isn't 43 deaf? I think, but my grandchildren are totally out of their minds. Uh, but that makes... That's what makes my day. <laughs> okay. Oh... What is going on? All right, uh, yo, my brain must be fried every time I try to do something, I screw up. Unlucky, man. Uh, how the hell did you get into my house? You better not steal my helix fossil. If you steal it, so help me. Do you regret coming in here and talking to me yet? Oh, is this the guy that speaks forever? Good. We, we spoke to someone that said, like, be careful that someone that just doesn't stop talking, but... You in front of the screen. This will teach you to mess with a poor old NPC. Hey, man. I mess with everyone. Good. <laughs> Still not letting you go. Let me hear. <laughs> okay, good. Alright. Not my fault you like bothering NPCs. Remember, don't steal my Helix Fossil. I'm gonna steal your Helix Fossil. <laughs> see ya. I want to speak to him again, see what he says, but I don't want to just go for that dialogue again. Uh... Ah, she can't speak. Fair. Uh, yo. Do you shower at least once a day? I know of some who don't. Yeah, shower once a day. But I mean, it, it, it depends, like, sometimes I'll shower in the morning, and then sometimes, like, why are you, like, I'm a floating bald head. Okay. And sometimes if I'm not going out, and I wake up a little bit late, I'll slap shower in the evenings. Or maybe something like an afternoon shower. Depends, but uh, working is important, but do you know what's more important? Socializing the means of production. Sure. Why is that just a floating bald head? <laughs> um, hi. Have you visited the museum yet? Indiana is very proud of it. No, no wonder they're the biggest archaeologist in the whole region. I haven't even found the museum yet, but there's Joshua. Hey, Voltsy, this must be the museum. I'm going in. Okay. Uh, yes, can I have a ticket, please? I need a ticket. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, do you need a ticket? Give me another entry, please. Oh. Don't worry, they're very cheap. Come on, you go first. That's very kind of you, thank you. It's impressive, isn't it? It's incredible that such impressive beings live among us. It's almost as if they came from another world. Well, I think I'll continue with my museum visit on my own. Hope you like it, and don't worry about the ticket. Seriously, it's nothing. Okay. I'm a very nice person. So the god Helix? What kind of piss is that? <laughs> I saw some of these Pokemon when I was a kid. Oh, I thought Tyrantrum would be bigger, like a building. Fossils look kind of cool though. Found some of these uh, bones digging at Mount Blues. Some were frozen in walls of ice. Like an uh, exhibition. Uh, why are there no fairy dinosaurs? Uh, do you think it's possible to, to barbecue those ribs? Maybe. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that a shield on and bastion head, right? Specimen is truly impressive, its proportions are unreal. I hope to find something as wonderful someday. Good luck, man. Good luck. Alright, uh, anything over this side? Most famous. Oh, wait, we've got to the paintings, haven't we? Uh, I used to come to a museum like this when I was little. It's located in Straight City. Though the paintings are something new, it used to be uh, only an archaeological museum. So there's a button behind one of the paintings. Clocks like memory have been softened by the passage of time. This is real art and not like that Pokemon Bizarre game. <laughs> um, the first time I saw those hands. Leave me alone, I'm admiring this painting. What do you know about art? Hmm? Hmm. Good. Point. <laughs> looks like you know how you looks looks like you know your paintings after all. Okay. A Passamian Plana, portrait of Lisa Gerada, uh, painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Vincilion. For several centuries, the unanswered questions about Leonardo's work have been growing, giving rise to passionate controversies among many authors and researchers. 
In the face of the large number of questions, the answers are often not very convincing. So the debate remains open. Uh, yes. <gasps> oh, there's a button. Okay. Oh, I have to press it to go in. Uh. Okay. Want to take the ribbon? Sure. Got a strange ribbon. This music makes you feel calm. The mystery of Mona Lisa. Perhaps it could serve to reassure someone. Okay. Uh. Let me check. I'm not sure what we're doing with this, but. There's the radio. So the king of the river, meet the king of the river at his pond. That's likely going to be the next side quest we do. Is this the, yeah, the Starry Night? I had like, um, I remember uh, for my iPod Touch, I went to the city one day and there's like, this stool just came up and they had, uh, what was it? It, was, it wasn't like a case, but it was like a, like a case sticker. Like they had to like put it on themselves and stuff. It was like really cool. And I got it off like the Starry Night. It's the first time like I proper saw it on my iPod Touch and I was like, this is actually really cool, and I had that case for so long. Even though it was like peeling off, I was just, I still loved it. But much like it was a man raised by a stern and a rigid father who, as a child, saw his mother and sister die of tuberculosis. Ooh, what's this? Uh, the Gonisca, painted by Pablo Picasso. It's titled to lose to the bombing of Gonica, which took place on April 26, 1937, during the Iberian Civil War. Have you ever been to Iberia? They say it's a region with a varied and interesting culture. Right, uh, so I think that's probably it, because yeah, there you go. Ah, so you've come to get my badge, I see. Yes, Professor Baobab told us we needed your permission, although I don't understand what he meant by that. We? Are you here with someone else? Yeah, me! Uh, yeah, my friend should be here soon. Is that the, the Hooper, um, bottle? But look, there they are. Oh, it's you, Voltsy. Seems like we're on the same page then. Do you know each other? No, well, we've met a couple of times. As the professor told you, you need my permission to access the gym. Why is that? If you notice, there is no gym in Queen City. That's because... Oh, this is because I wanted to continue fighting in Straight City. Plus, I spend most of my time working there anyway. Right now, that city is abandoned and access to it is restricted. I'm in charge of the maintenance of the city together with other colleagues. As an archaeologist, I could not let this, that city just disappear. There is a wealth of documents and culture that we cannot afford to lose. Moreover, I'm confident that with our work, it can be made habitable again. Then, are you an archaeologist? Yes, in fact, I am one of the founders of the museum. Do you see that? This is our largest, greatest discovery, the prison bottle. We found it recently in the uh, Casca ruins. It said that inside it contains the Pokemon Hooper. But it is totally closed and it is impossible for us to open it. it can't be opened. Haven't you tried giving it a few whacks or something? But, but, why would we ever risk breaking a relic like that? Don't worry, I'll get it open. Uh, hey, wait! Oh, Joshua, no. What? The power went out. <laughs> I can't see anything. Uh, what was that? Ah, you stepped on my foot. Technical failure. D take it now and we'll be on our way. Who's there? Oh. What have you done? We're running out of time. The emergency lights. Oh. Hello, good afternoon. Who are you? Indiana. Someone explain to me what just happened or I'll start punching stuff. Damn, that kid has such a bad temper. Ah, you're the one from the Alluring Forest. This time I will let you humiliate my little boy. The age of man has come to an end. Oh, what a sweet thing to say. A robot. You really didn't notice? Well, the lights are out, so obviously I couldn't see it. Speaking of seeing, where's the bottle? The bottle? Ho <laughs> ho, it's ours now. Fine then, Foltsy. Let's show them uh, that, that with us around, they'll never win. Are you challenging us? All right, we'll teach you not to mess with our plans. Missile? Milk, coca, hazelnuts, and sugar. The perfect ingredients to create the perfect robot. <laughs> Activate the attack devices activated. Okay. I'm gonna say, if in Legend Z8, if we don't get like an event with like the Hooper bottle and like a big cool event with Hooper, or Volcanion, or Deancey, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Right, uh, it's bubble beam here. Okay, I didn't do it as much as I was hoping it would do, but it's fine. Think of a faintness hack, because I feel like Cosmo Man is more of a special attacker, but I'm just gonna double check. Oh, never mind. I mean, you should have gone the Psychic on the Toxic Croaks, that would have definitely taken you out. Uh, what to go for next? Let's go for our new channel. Yeah, man, this is so sick. Lava Plume! Oh, okay. Wait, doesn't Lava Plume hit Toxic Croak? Oh, I'm gonna find out because I'm gonna get one shot. Oh, 
Okay, uh... Oh, you're level 45 and 46. This is looking a little scary. Hmm, let's go up all. It's fine, it's fine. Just keep up roaring. Oh, you got a Golduck now. I, mean, I guess the Golduck probably suits Joshua a lot because of the hair. <laughs> uh, play rough. I'm not going to get play rough because we got Berry Fist and that gets more damage because the ability, right? Because play rough doesn't, it's not a fist move, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if, if you can, I can relearn it anyway if, it, if that is the case, but I think Berry Fist is definitely going to still be better. Come on, hit the Ambipom. Okay, you're hitting the Ambipom, and I'm going to hit the Clang, which probably ain't going to do much damage. Oh, it transformed. Okay, uh... I like how the music changes. Let's go for an overdrive. Nice. Oh, I'm just hoping this music doesn't get copyrighted. I was like laughing the other day, like, um... You know, I was saying, like, because obviously this game has a lot of copyright music and the, the, I have to, like, mute it. And sometimes also there'll be, like, no sound. There was one bit I was like, oh, I think the music's gonna get copyrighted. It sounds banging. And then the, it didn't get copyrighted. And then someone left the comment, like, yes! It didn't get copyrighted. I was like, oh, it's so nice. It's so nice when you can just, like, hear the music. It's so good. Obviously, I'm not talking over it. But finally, Gobert's evolving! Oh, it took so long! Oh, that took so long. What does Crobat look like? Oh, that's badass. Got little eyes on its wings. Eyes? Yeah, it looked kind of like eyes or something, but cross poison? Uh, don't think we need cross poison, right? We're flying electric. Oh, no way, the lights are back. Missile, we have to go. Finish these two off now. Destruction mode activated. Time for punishment. No, stay away if you don't want to face Joshua's titanic fists. Metal is harder than flesh. <laughs> but also, we have a very big problem. Oh, one moment. The party ends here. Porygon, try attack. Oh. What's going on? I have a headache. No, I, I didn't do anything, I swear. Oh, I'll take care of the rest. Who's this? Voltsy's your father? Oh, our dad. Hey, what's up, guys? Nobody's allowed to touch these two. Now we're going to have a long talk at the police station. No, I can't go to the police station. The mission cannot fail now. You got a Haxorus. I'm afraid I'll have to step in. Oh. Oh, it's a shiny Porygon as well. Oh. Very sorry to intrude, uh, Trudy uh, Menson. Huh? Sorry, but who are you? It doesn't matter. Let's just say I'm nobody. Uh, Frisia, uh, I think I was quite clear when I said that I would not allow anyone to be harmed. Look what you just did to Indiana. You just attacked a gym leader. Is this the price necessary to achieve my goals? Is there no better alternative? Uh, sorry, I had no other choice. Don't worry. I guess I'll risk... Uh, I, guess, I guess it's a risk we had to take. It's time to go. I'm sorry for everything that has happened, but I have no other choice. You are... Not gonna say. Can we keep the robot? <laughs> Are you all okay? Ah, oh, my head. It was just a small blow. I'm, I'm fine. We're fine. They couldn't handle the two of us together. I'm glad you're well. If it wasn't for Baobab telling me you were around, I wouldn't have arrived in time. You should have uh, come to me in the city. Anyway, Boltzy, I'm glad you're okay. I didn't expect, uh, really expect anything from you when we agreed that you would start your journey through the region. <laughs> I think you're under underestimating us too much. Yeah, a little bit. So they took the prison bottle. We better go to the police station and report what happened. Yeah, that would be best. The police station is located south of the city. You can't miss it. Okay, ooh. This finding, it's impressive. What mis mysteries does the creation of the past reveal to us? Was there a highly advanced society that we do not know about today? Could the legends about Atlantis be true? Will the existence of uh, Mercia be true? A robot? Even today, we do not have the necessary methods to create something so advanced. This is undoubtedly the greatest discovery of mankind. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Oh. Uh. Okay. Right. So I think it's a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll go to the police station, report what happened. Um, we're then probably going to leave and start going north, but we can go up uh, Route 9, do the little side quest there, and get some more stuff done, I guess. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Let me save the game. Ooh, have a great day. Peace.